Over the next few videos, we are going to take a look at greedy algorithms. We're going to see some examples. This will just be an introduction here, and we're just going to take a look at what exactly greedy algorithms are and what some of the pros and cons are. So we'll actually start with that. Before we actually learn what they are, we will know that they are going to be simple. They will be quick. So they're going to run pretty fast, which is awesome. We always want that. They're going to be easy to program. Well, that's awesome. That's another uh, that's another benefit right there. We don't have to put too much work into figuring them out. So that looks pretty good for Team Greedy Algorithm, right? They are 3-0 and right now. The game just started. They're looking pretty good. Except there's one problem. They fucking suck. They're not going to be very good at getting you the optimal solution. And the reason why is that greedy algorithms are going to make what we call locally optimal decisions. And I like to call this, I like to call these algorithms the infant algorithms because they're essentially going to make decisions like a five-year-old kid. If you give the same problem to the algorithm and you give it to a five-year-old child, they're probably going to come up with the same solution, which it probably means it's not going to be a very good algorithm. There's going to be uses for greedy algorithms. There's some times where they will give you the best solution, and we'll talk about those in the next few videos. But for the most part, they're going to make the best possible decision at each step. Now, once again, that seems pretty good, but I'm going to quickly show you, I'll show you that it quickly becomes a problem. So this is a crudely drawn uh, map right here. I have the arrows, so you can only move in the direction of the arrows. And we're going to come up with the solution that the kid's going to come up with, and then we'll come up with the optimal solution. So we want the quickest path from A to B. I just drew this really quick, but it's still going to get the point across. So the kid's going to start off over here at A, and he's going to say, okay, I can either go the path that is 30, or I can go the path that is 50. Well, 30 is a lot smaller, so I think that's going to give me the best chance to have the best you know, the quickest path. So I'm going to go all the way over here because the kid's not adding up all these numbers and trying to assess which way will save him time in the future. Okay, now he has 75 versus 80. He's going to go with the 75 path. Now he has 100 versus 80. Let's go with the 80 path. Now he has a nice 15 path over here. Oh, is a 10 path that's going to lead him right to the end. There we go. So that's the path that the kid is going to use. And we're going to see that that's definitely not going to be the quickest path that he could have taken, right? If he went with this 50 route. And then he took, obviously, he had to take the 25 here. I should have probably given more options. It's kind of a, a cop out right there. Uh, but whatever, this, this doesn't really matter anyway in the long run. Then he would have taken the 30. That's really a cop out. There's really not many selections here. Whatever, it, it doesn't make a difference. You get the point. And then that would be the optimum path. So we can see how making the locally optimal decision at each point is not going to get you the best path. It's going to lead you in a lot of problems. So that's one of the main reasons why these greedy algorithms are not going to work. Now, there's a few instances where they will work, and I'll talk about that. For the most part, we are going to see that they are not going to work. They run really quick, which is awesome. But if it runs quick and it doesn't give you the right answer, we know that, you know, in the first video, we said algorithms need to be correct. That's the number one thing. And then we worry about the runtime. In this case, you, you know, you're sacrificing the correctness for the runtime. I still feel bad. Like I, I kind of, you know, didn't give the kid a fair chance here by not giving these, uh, these, you should have some selections here. So let's go ahead and add those in right now. Really doesn't matter. So I'll go ahead and put that one there. Okay. Whatever. And we imagine it would be looking like that. So whatever, stupid graphic design, whatever. It's gonna start making more sense in the next video, but I think you guys understood the concept. Greedy algorithms are going to make the best choice locally, right? So let's go ahead and write it out. Greedy Make the best choice at each decision without looking ahead. They make no calculation as to what path will save them time in the future. That's the main reason why greedy algorithms are not going to work. It's really the only reason. It's just not going to give you the optimum solution. It's going to make locally optimal decisions. So anyways, that is the introduction to greedy algorithms. And we'll start looking at a few specifics in the next video.